Exactly what I ordered. I guess I'll have to make do. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna be okay. No. Nope. Mm. Oh my gosh. I just got the most perfect idea. Yes. This will do perfectly. Hey guys, you're watching Nomadic Nautilus, and I'm going to carve an anatomically correct skull out of this jawbreaker today. Now, this is like one of the largest jawbreakers that I could buy, and it's actually massive and weighs quite a bit. So this will be an interesting experience. I'm not sure how the sugar is going to carve or if it'll just melt from the heat of the bits that I'm going to be using. I'm excited. Uh, I'll probably keep this pretty quick video. It'll take me a lot of hours to do this probably, but I'm going to make it pretty quick for you guys watching it. But I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Let's do it. It smells delicious. But so far, we've got some of the side profiles roughed in a little bit at the bottom. Then we can keep going from there. Well, I've been forced to take my first break because A, I'm very sticky. And the second thing is, is that my little Dremel bit, Deltas, is completely like filled up with this caked in sugar that I need a knife to get it out with. So, I'm going to clean. Does this count as a sugar skull? Alright guys, the sun's getting low. Sun's getting real low. And uh, bugs are starting to come out. I've got it to about this point for today. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge so it doesn't melt. And then uh, come back at it tomorrow. See ya. Hola mis amigos, it's el día numero dos. Uh, as you can see in the meantime, between the first recording and now, I went ahead and made some marks of all the areas that I need to carve away and get some more mass out of there, and then I'll do some fine carving after that. Uh, come in some manos. Safety first, guys. Ugh, wait, how do I do this? Okay. You, uh, 
I, I think you uh, got something in your nose. Uh, do, you, do you just want me to, to blow it for you? Oh, that's better. All right. I've gone ahead and drawn on the little marks for the teeth and the little marks where the jaw connects to the skull. I'm gonna go ahead and try the teeth first and take one of the tiniest bits I have and start carving away at the details away from the teeth. finished. Hey guys, I wanted to give everyone a big thanks for watching the video and sticking around, but I also wanted to thank Bobby Duke from Bobby Duke Arts on YouTube. Thank you, Bobby Duke, for inspiring me to carve the skull out of a jawbreaker. He made a skull from an eight ball from pool. Uh, it's a really cool video, and if you guys want to go check that out, it's Bobby Duke Arts, but he also got inspired by a guy on Instagram named Scott Biscuit. I had a lot of fun making the skull. It was uh, more challenging than I thought it'd be. I thought the layers of the jawbreaker would be homogenous, but no, they actually kind of chipped away as I was carving, so it was pretty interesting. And I just want to shout out to everyone. Just be you and try something new. You might like it better than the stuff you're already doing. See ya. Guys, it looks like Willy Wonka threw up on my desk. <laughs> <laughs>